Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign. This is Total War Attila. My name is Ben Pope on Ben Pope Games. Look, the Huns are just at our door. They almost have three armies. Uh, they were actually chasing a um, army of Lugans, which ran that way. Uh, I skipped a couple of turns because nothing was happening and I just wanted to get to something. Uh, didn't want it to have it boring for you guys. Our city... Our our cities are doing okay. Uh, here's our the Seekers of Glory, our only standing army. Uh, we have some money we can spend, but I was looking at how much it's going to cost to um, occupy the desolate region here, and it's about 8,000 um, if you use the whole army and, and go in. And um, 8,000 is not that far away if I don't have to fight somebody. Um, occupying this will give me, should give me a connection between, um, with, you know, from my capital to my other cities so I can use the three ports I have and, um, do some trading to make more money. That's kind of important for progression. Um, so unless the Huns attack me, which I don't know if they will. Um, they're not really on my line. They were just kind of chasing that dude, and that r dude ran away. Uh, so if they don't attack me, that'll be that'll be fine. I can upgrade all sorts of things. Um, here, public order is not so great, but I could. Um, like you know, if I was if I was to upgrade this, I would get lancers, Germanic and Gothic. So that's good. Uh, the town center could go for more public order and wealth um, wealth from commerce and, I, and if I do this I can uh, recruit spies that's gonna mess up my it's gonna give me more squalor where are we at with the squalor uh, okay so I have plenty of room for sanitation I could do that or I could get the wood cover like I wanted to um, here I was gonna put the chapel in, which is gonna cost more money. So I'm gonna think about this, what I wanna do. Uh, I don't really need another spy at the moment, so I could go for the livestocker and get the lancers. Um, here we have the smithy, and yeah, I don't really need anything else to upgrade there. And this is kind of okay, it's more waiting for the next population surplus to build something cool here. Um, let's see, this would, either one we take here will um, give us the priest, which will help too. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna... I know, I keep clicking off. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna... Um, I'm just gonna scroll through a few turns and... Uh, let's see, let's not spend money. Oh, we could do something in the military. That would unlock recruitment and replace cohorts. And this will hmm. lessen the recruitment cost. Yeah, that would be nice. This would be nice. I'm not that advanced at any of the building. Yeah, it's either the involuntary levy or the army drills. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go for the army drills. Although, although twelve turns is kind of far away. Sweet. All right. So. Yeah. Our governor. Has our favorite governor, Archibald. <laughs> 
Let's see. Spotting chance. He won't really benefit from any of those. Um, yeah, less corruption and construction cost. Done. Right. Uh, I didn't move my. I could move my army close to my my only standing army close to the capital in case the Huns want to attack. But I'm just gonna play an A by ear. So yeah, it doesn't sound like uh, a lot of action is gonna happen this episode either, un unless I get attacked. Um, because I just really want to build up a little bit and and have more of a of an oomph going forward. So yeah, do feel free to comment uh, and let me know which way you think I should I should expand and what the best options would be of course some of you guys that have that are that are watching have probably done this and um know all the ins and outs and others of you maybe are just learning when you watch this kind of like kind of like what i'm doing an illegitimate birth oh vidimir is not married uh valdamerica who is valdamerica mission failed um, yeah, I couldn't trade with Visigoths, sorry. So he has no wife, but, you know, maybe Valdamerica... <gasps> no way, that's your cousin, man! <sighs> well... Um, I'm sure her dad is just so happy right now. Um, wow, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Do I need to be... No, I, I'm, I'm kind of in a good place, messing up public order a little bit. For power respectable power let's see if I can I might have to um, get one of these guys move to a general so then I can um, do something with him all right, let's just go through another turn. Looks like the Huns are not really sitting around very much at my door, which is good. They just, I mean, everything's desolate in the north. I'll show you guys the map. It's, um, it's pretty frightening. All that Kung Fu fighting turn it into Actually, there's no Kung Fu fighting. Not sure where I was going with that. Uh, yeah, things are s slowly moving, I suppose. Um, but that's that's better than having way too much happening and some in the state are known to have lavish oh. tastes these men remember with fondness those who help fund such tastes we do not ask much merely a contribution mm. towards the legions those trusty guarantors of peace for all they admire eastern germanic tribes how about i how about, oh. how about i give you like oh 300 Oh, I'm uh, sure next time they'll take it. People are running out of office. Let's put them back into office. Oh my, he can be a warlord. What can you be? You can be a tribal chief. Uh, you don't have any sort of 
influence. Is that what it is? Influence? Yeah. Everybody's dead. I need to marry somebody. I need to marry this person to somebody. Uh, my high king has failed to seek wife, so let's do seek wife again. I don't think. Yeah, I mean these guys probably. Just need to uh, shoot. Okay, so it looks like you're a warlord now, Mr. Philimir. He's a governor, but he's a warlord. All right, Argimond can't be anything. This guy can't be anything. Right. Um, so I'm nearly there. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep ending. Oh, hello. Father be praised. How can I help? Okay, he's a general, so they will keep that. Uh, right. Let's give you some hunting. And some melee. And Philomir will probably want less corruption. And what's this? I can make him a legend. Authority. Right. Uh, okay, now this guy. A governor. I just don't like the idea of having corruption, so we're gonna ne negate as much corruption as possible. That's the building costs. Cool. So we're making nine hundred. Um, which means a couple more turns, and we should be able to. Uh, Settle in the new town of whatever it's called. Yep, because otherwise I can't trade with anyone. So, if I can establish trade, that would be great. Uh, after this turn's end is over, I'm gonna try to ask the Italians for non-aggression. Like, they offered it, but they wanted some money from me. And I was like, I don't really want to give you money. And then they rejected. Maybe now they'll be like, hey, all right, I guess, you know, I guess that's cool. But it's the AI just tries to milk money off of people. So it's, it's no wonder that it happened. I kind of had a feeling that there's going to be political obstructions. Uh, let's just, let's just appoint Thelemir to Warlord by pulling political fervors. I don't want him to lose influence for my own. So office secure for the mirror. There will be no marriage. Wow. Looks like my high king won't be ever married. Population surplus in Dardania. Look at that, mate. Uh, what is it? Thought. How much does this grow by? It um. It doesn't grow that much. Well, I. If I keep this population surplus uh, and I capture this town, Viminatium, then I could probably get a couple of, you know, places there right away. Or I can develop this land. Yeah, let's keep the population. Pop, uh, 
Let's keep the population sur surplus. Surplus. I'm liking this. Um, so I should I need like four more turns. I know it sounds boring, doesn't it? I'm trying to establish trade. And I forgot to check diplomacy. It's nice to see the the visit cards are uh, you know massing another army that it kinda got destroyed by the Romans. I just have a ton of generals everywhere. Western Romans are patrolling. Danians picks. There's a lot of cool tribes and nations that would be fun to play as. Um, what was it? Is it Napoleon Total War? Uh, it's where, because I'm from Romania, so in Napoleon Total War, this is actually the nation of Romania because it was established by then. And it's not playable, but if you like unlock all playable factions. Then, then you can play as them, but then those factions don't have much of a roster or a tech tree, so kind of poopy. All right, who who was the guy? Athneric, Athneric, where are you? I don't know. There you are. Um, you can secure loyalty with Athneric. Use up some influence there. All right. My salutations and the good wishes of our people to you and Hmm. Payment of That's the least I can put in. <sighs> Mr um Sextus Herenius Pictor, would you like No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to please? Uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to trade with quite a few nations once I establish a trade route to my capital. 600. At, at this time, I have released on my channel, the trailer video for my next Total War campaign, which is in Attila Total War and it's the Burgundians. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, give it a view. It's two minutes long, two minutes and nine seconds. It's a little cinematic trailer that I thought I'd put together. Um, takes quite a bit of time actually to get a trailer going um, you know the work f of recording the different angles and such and I could have done even better than I did but I was like okay I've been at this for four hours that's plenty um, yeah because I would have to I would have had to like capture even more footage of that same fight to get even more you know close-up killing blows and um, fighting and stuff like that uh, and then I, th then I think it would have made, um, I would have like, you know, made the video too long or had to actually cut out some of the footage that I wanted to use. Okay, so that was good. We have some ranks. For the tribe. Let's rank up Mundus. 
do we, does he want? I guess he's a fleet commander, but. Yo, can he? Hmm. Uh, let's give him the pillum. Person influence per earning reputation. Public order in province. Uh, let's give him this, and I'll probably put the public order somewhere else. Uh, Mundus is also a poet. I didn't notice that. My mouse skipped the beat. It's in there. Where's your poet beat? Oh, that I just put. I just put that on. <laughs> uh, Egypt, Nobadia, Caramantians, and Eastern Romans. It's uh, just for kicks, for giggles. Welcome, and worthy friend. I trust you bring. No. All right. Uh, next turn we can probably settle, you guys. Settle, I mean, occupy. In our new town. And uh, try to establish some trade. Sounds like a plan, yeah? I don't suppose many nations will trade, but some might. Like the Visigoths in Corinthus. Uh, maybe the Italians. Oh gosh, because the gods are getting their butt kicked. I'm guessing they had like a... Interior force, obviously, but maybe a standard army and... The Eastern Romans probably had a real navy. Can't go out there fighting with the real... With an army against a navy. Just not made for it. Those transport boats will f crumble, sink. Yeah. All right. Uh, with my luck, it Holy might tribe! be not enough. Let but let's see. Eight eight. <sighs> All right, let's wait one more turn. Tedious. Tedious, the general. Theodis, fine. Uh, mister, why don't we get you... Hmm. We kind of want to get the fatigue out of the way, we kind of want to get sentinel, we kind of want to get cavalry. Oh, he's flaccid. The heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, Munifrida. That's what this man makes poor choices in his bed, partners. That's all it is. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, let's let's give him. Um, shoot, I could use some integrity too. Some authority, because that flaccidity was messing up his authority. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, man, this is messing up my power to rule, my influence to the people. Funny thing is that I guess that sort of thing becomes public. Like, oh, dude, he's he might be a general, but I hear he can't he can't please anyone in bed. He can't please a woman. <laughs> oh dear. 
I'm trying to keep this channel clean. Uh, that's, you know, kids won't know what I mean. What I mean, kids, is that um, he he faces the wrong way when he when he sleeps at night. Uh, uh, doesn't like to cuddle. Yeah. And um, mo mostly because he doesn't drink enough water. Oh, what's this? Defamation. Defamation? An unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumors about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Well, uh, Vidimir has little influence lately because he's... I don't really know what to do here. So... Okay, so she's a priestess. Uh, spread foul rumors. He's spreading foul rumors about her. She's spreading foul rumors about him. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to pay them off. Whatever. <sighs> okay. Hispania. As a nation, that's cool. Good autumn. Alright, let's see if we can... We've colonized. Sweet. Uh, of course. Got like... Got no money to do that now. Alright, so... I can trade with people now. Sweet. Alright. The Visigoths, please trade with me. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear. Following a new agreement, a trade route has been opened between you and your new trading partner. Alright. Now, who else has to trade? Italia might want to we trade. Are, as always, a welcoming host to you. I await your words with an appetite for truth. We will surely mark the... Uh, will you do an aggression now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's improving. They'll be able to maybe not ag non aggression later. Um... They've been at war with me and stuff, but I can trade with them. I don't see why not. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. Come on, trade. Hmm. I could send my fleet out to discover more nations. But um, let's see, there I were with the Huns. Guns, Hamans. Come on, mate. How about I give the you some cash? Will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. Non aggression? Payments of 300. Hey, all right. Have spoken. So now we're trading with. Uh, these guys are not gonna be like. Oh wow, there's six. In time, two things always smell. Wow. Fish and uninvited guests. Speak quickly then, before I lose interest and. They would make a lot more money than I would. Okay, so we're trading with like three nations now. Uh, let's see, trade. Yep, 
Italians, Visigoths, oh, Illyria as well, and Gathurgians. Not bad. Looks like we're importing the wine as well as producing it. Cool. And so, yeah, we're making 16,000 per turn now. Let's just go through one more turn. Um, yeah, so I would send um, my fleet out to discover some land, but that kind of seems dangerous. Since I don't really have a fleet, it would just be like the general. <laughs> and if he gets attacked by something, then he'll be toast. Um, but it might be worth it. It might be worth going like south uh, and discovering nations in the north of Africa. And... Yeah, if I if I can get to the peninsula, the Spanish peninsula might be good too. Cause there's nations over there. Maybe the Sassanids. They wouldn't mind some, some wine and some lead from my mountains. Could be useful. Well, we'll probably look at that later. Natural causes to this at fifty one. Huh. Wasn't he a uh, Dalmatian? I think he was the governor there. Bubilus. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Bibulus. He's probably going to be a drinker. That's not good. Alright. Uh, let's see. This is 1900 is needed. So next turn we will... Um, Put in a city there, an actual village, and it will be our first uh, village of our own nation, because so far we we couldn't um, couldn't what's it called convert any of these over since they're expensive. I could have, but I didn't want to spend that money. So yeah, I'm super happy that we're uh, trading and. Yeah, looks like I probably should send out a navy to just kind of... This place is desolate. Eastern Romans there. Yeah. Might not be that many things down here that I can interact with. Maybe some over here. The Vandals are way out there. In the north, maybe? Oops. I always press that button when I try to get out of it. Because normally other games you just do that. And it, and it happens. Alright. Uh, there we go. We're going to get into a view over here. And call it a day. For this episode, please do comment. Hit the like button. And if you enjoy the content that's on my channel. Um, and I'm not saying it's going to be like this the whole time. I know some people have subscribed for, you know, some games that I only played for a little bit and then they had to, they felt like they need to uh, unsubscribe because I haven't played that game in a while. That's fine, whatever. But if you enjoy what's currently on the channel and um, want to hear me ramble on some more, please do subscribe. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you soon enough. Bye.